Scott, start with the positives. That was an incredible turnaround from the gas in the second half. Yeah, obviously we come out in the second half, um, you know, coming back from 2-0 down and taking the score to 3-2. I think, um, you know, all the boys dug deep, showed character, getting back into the game. But it's just so disappointing to, to not come away with any points. And I know the team player that you are, but let, let's be honest here, it's a fabulous cross from you. You've also put a penalty away. It was a, it was a great performance from you personally. Well, obviously, when I come on, um, if I start the game or if I come on, it's all, all about making an impact and helping the team. Um, and obviously, when I come on today and, and put the pen away, but you know, I think collectively, you know, it showed our character, um, you know, in the second half. But, um, but yeah, everyone's just so disappointed coming into the dressing room after. You know, um, we should have come away with a, at least a point, I would say. But you know, the three points were there. You say everyone, everyone's disappointed. It is interesting to kind of sense the vibe around it. This isn't a, a club that's used to winning, uh, sorry, used to losing two games on the spin. So actually, if you look at it in a positive way, it actually means that, you know, how far this, this club has come. Oh, definitely. I think the main thing is is to stay positive. Um, you know, with all, all the players, the games are coming thick and fast. So it's all about going into the next game and keeping that positivity. Sometimes when you lose a game, you, you go into the next one, making sure that you, you win it and get the three points and, and get going again. So that's all we can do now. Um, at first, sort of dust ourselves down and, and make sure we go into the next game uh, and try and bring our confidence in there, which we do every game, um, and get the three points and, and, and go on a little run again. Could there have been another penalty in there? I know you went to, to ground it. Obviously, he, he come across. Um, I didn't get my shot off and I felt something and I went down. Um, you know, maybe the ref thought it was a little bit soft, but, um, you know, we can't just sort of live on the, the, the ifs and buts. We need to sort of put the game to bed and come off with the three points. Look out to Cheltenham and Scott. Four goals against us at home, which is not something that their gaffers are used to seeing. We put four past Cheltenham at their place. What kind of game do you think we're expecting on New Year's Day? Um, I'm, I'm sure it'll be end-to-end, uh, -end. Um, you know, like you said, there's full of goals, uh, I'm sure there will, um, you know, we're always trying to create and uh, and uh, and obviously score goals, but, um, you know, I'm sure it'll be a good game. Can you just clarify your position at Rovers? A lot of fans are asking questions, are you here you know, still, are you going to be here for a couple more weeks? Have you any idea how the situation is going to play out before the end, end of the window? Yeah, I'm, I'm obviously I'm sure Eddie will speak to me soon and and uh, finalise me staying longer but at the moment I'm just concentrating obviously every week uh, and doing as well as I can and, and helping the team. But in an ideal world you'd love to, to stay here? Yeah of course, of course. I'm enjoying it, you know, the team, uh, you know, are quality lads and uh, you know it's, it's a great place and, uh, and I'm enjoying it like I said. Thank you Scott.